Hello and good evening listeners. Welcome to our weekly English program Kaleidoscope. Listeners, morning and evening routine are a very important part of our lives. In order to make our lives better and more efficient, if we have a fixed morning and a bedtime routine, we are better equipped to handle the stress in our lives. Listeners, if you remember, last week we had talked about the best morning routine and in our today's program, we are going to talk about the best evening routine. This evening routine can work as a guideline for you. You can modify this routine according to your style and see what works best for you. To talk about best evening routine, we have with us health coach and yoga instructor Aparna More. Aparna More is a software engineer who took nirvana from corporate world and got into yoga to help people to take the most important journey of life, which is the journey inwards. She has completed a diploma in yoga education from India University. She has done a 200 hours US Yoga Alliance teachers training course from Santa Cruz Yoga Institute in Mumbai. She is a certified aerial fitness teacher from World Yoga Alliance. And she has completed Vedas and Upanishads course. She is also a certified Reiki trainer and a Chakra healer, conducting Chakra meditation and Yoga Nidra sessions. She is a recipient of Indian icon woman personality from Western India region for her contribution towards the field of yoga. Listeners, we will do a quick recap of what we had done in the best morning routine in our last part. It's a brand new day and after 7-8 hours of shut eye, let's prepare our bodies to respond affectionately to the chirping birds, the morning bliss and let's set the tone for the day. As Lord Buddha said, each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters the most. So let's do the things that matters the most in our lives. When we get up, let's start by setting an intention or the sankalpa. Let's announce to the universe. Just say it aloud. I choose positivity, peacefulness, happiness love, compassion and mindfulness throughout the day. Once we are done with this, we move on to cleaning our mouth and the gastrointestinal tract. To do this, wash your face and while washing your face, fill the water in your mouth and splash your eyes with water. There is an ancient Ayurvedic technique called eye pulling or gandosh technique. Here. You can take a sesame or a till oil in your mouth and keep on swirling it as you hold it. Hold as long as you can and then spit it out completely. Don't swallow it. This will help in thorough cleaning of your mouth area. Once you are done with this, try sipping some warm water. Now warm water awakens the system and acts as a tool for efficient bowel movements. If you are flexible enough, you can sit in Malasan, which is an Indian toilet pose in your room and sip warm water slowly. Once we are done with this, we move on to the most important and most talked out activity, which is the Abhyanga. It's an Ayurvedic technique of applying warm oil to the body. Generally in winters we use sesame or the till oil and in summers we use coconut. You massage it nicely on your body. You can stretch yourself, you can do Surya Namaskars if you are physically fit so that you activate and absorb the solar energy from the nature and invigorate the same solar energy within yourself. So listeners, that was a quick recap of the best morning routine that we had done in our last episode of Kaleidoscope. Now, in our today's episode, we will be doing a session on the best evening routine. We started our morning routine with the chirping of the birds and now these chirping birds are ready to return to their nests to unwind and energize themselves 
for the next day. Similarly, the evening routine that we follow or we should be following is a great practice for getting all oxygenated, releasing everything that you have been holding on mentally or physically throughout the day before you sink into a peaceful night of deep sleep. Now though morning routines are a popular topic, the evening routines are as crucial as the early morning ones. As the better your evening and night is, the better your next morning will be. And it is the best way to hack your next mornings to be their absolute best. And while I say this, our morning and night routines are interdependent on each other and neither is best than the other. So set up yourself for the successful day tomorrow with some of the similar techniques that I would be talking about. The first one would be tuning into your circadian rhythm. Now this is the natural and the first step plus to begin when creating an evening routine. Just follow your body's circadian rhythm. This is the body's internal clock that regulates sleep, alertness, hormone production, body temperature and organ function. Usually this is the routine or this is the clock that tells you when you are tired and when you want to wake up. Making sure that you work with your body clock is a good start to creating an evening routine. So pay attention to when you start to feel tired and when your body is signaling you to get on the bed. That's the time you shouldn't delay that process and get on the bed. If you listen to your body, your body is going to support you wonderfully. So as you get the signal, get on the bed and start to wind down. Now once you identify your circadian rhythm, try to finish your dinner 2-3 to three hours prior to your bedtime. Now when you do so, it allows your body to digest your food so that you are not up at night with heavy stomach. And also, the energy is directed in restoring and relaxing you rather than digesting the food in your stomach. So this is an important thing wherein you need to finish your dinner 2-3 to three hours before your bedtime. Now once you are done with your dinner, just establish a wind down routine. Now this means try going to bed at the same time every day by identifying the circadian rhythm which we spoke about. Now to prepare your body to sleep, include some reading or breathing exercises, some small stretches. Some of you can go in for meditation if you have been doing it or others if you have been continuing with journaling, do so. Try going to bed around the same time. Use this as a dedicated time to process your thoughts from the day and anticipate what needs to get done the following day. After setting your wind down routine, Avoid using any technology one hour prior to your bedtime. Stay away, strictly stay away from all the screens, be it cell phones, television, as the bright screens and the blue lights emitted from these devices delays the melatonin release, which is an important hormone for sleep. And this blue light from the devices suppresses this melatonin. So, rather than checking your phone while lying on the bed, just read a book. As reading a book is the most important activity and most of the successful people like Bill Gates, Mukesh Ambani, they have given a different perspective about it. As they say, it totally allows your mind to explore various options and avenues it wouldn't otherwise and that fuels creativity and imaginative thinking. 
while you keep away the technology one hour prior to your bedtime make this bedtime joyful and relaxing connect with your loved ones generate the positive emotions just before bed as it helps in better mood you can try reading aloud to your kids sharing the highlights from your day by doing this you cultivate a feeling of joy when you climb into bed find the enjoyment of simply relaxing in bed just some time with yourself relaxing in your bed is the most important factor you can also meditate or just be few minutes with your breath take this time on your magic bed to be with yourself the awareness of your breath the inhalation and exhalation connecting to oneself this gives you time to focus relax and release the stress from the day so that you are all relaxed when you are going to sleep and when you are just falling to sleep take a moment take a time to offer gratitude to the universe for everything that you have also thank your body for supporting you seek forgiveness from everyone that you have interacted throughout the day if you would have hurt them intentionally or unintentionally that way you are clearing out any negative any suppressed anger or your karmas for the day and then just sleep deep and have a good night now when i spoke about all these things what is important is that you set a night time routine and stick with it over time you can start with few of the set activities and keep adding one or two things that you can do to improve your quality of sleep and morning mental state expand the routine until you have full night time habit that sets up for the success next day the closure of every day is just as important as the start of the day by doing these simple things you ready yourself for the next morning recharge with a restful night and minimize the resistance you encounter in getting the things done so these are a few of the things that you can start incorporating and see how nicely and beautifully you get a deep good quality sleep so that next morning you are all fresh and ready to take the day thank you So listeners that was the best evening routine by health coach and yoga instructor Aparna Mohre hope you enjoyed listening to her we will be back next week with another exciting program until then thanks for listening and please stand by as our next program follows